In a time before television, when entertainment came crackling through the airwaves, radio was king. Among its stars shone an unexpected duo, Edgar Bergen, a ventriloquist, and his wisecracking wooden companion, Charlie McCarthy. Their radio show, The Chase and Sanborn Hour, captivated audiences for nearly two decades, leaving many to wonder, how could a ventriloquist thrive in a purely audio medium? Edgar Bergen, born Edgar John Berggren in 1903, was a Swedish immigrant with a passion for entertainment. Orphaned at a young age, he found solace in the world of make-believe. At age 11, a chance encounter with a pamphlet titled The Wizard's Manual sparked a lifelong obsession with ventriloquism. He honed his skills, crafting his first dummy, Charlie McCarthy, in 1919. Charlie, a rascally redhead with a penchant for mischief, would become Bergen's signature act. Bergen's early career took him through the dusty halls of vaudeville and the flickering silver screens of silent films. However, it was radio that propelled him to superstardom. In 1936, a chance encounter with a talent scout led to a guest appearance on a radio show. Bergen and Charlie's witty banter was an instant hit. The following year, they landed a coveted spot on The Chase and Sanborn Hour, a comedy variety show. The Chase and Sanborn Hour would be their home for nearly 20 years. The show's format was perfect for Bergen's talents. Charlie, the sardonic and mischievous dummy, would engage in hilarious back-and-forth exchanges with Bergen, often poking fun at celebrities, politicians, and current events. Despite the audience's inability to see Bergen, they readily accepted his ventriloquism. The popularity of the ventriloquist on the radio defied explanation. Critics marveled at Bergen's ability to captivate audiences without the visual element. Bergen's influence on ventriloquism is undeniable. He is considered a pioneer of the art form who paved the way for generations of performers. His success demonstrated that ventriloquism wasn't confined to the stage. Programs like The Chase and Sanborn Hour offered a platform for these unique performers, bringing joy and laughter into millions of homes. Edgar Bergen's legacy extends beyond radio. He helped shape the landscape of American comedy. He even dabbled in film with Charlie McCarthy, making cameos in several Hollywood productions. Even without the visuals, Bergen was a skilled ventriloquist who could weave a world of wonder, leaving audiences captivated by the illusion of a talking dummy.